Hey guys, it's Q here once again with YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced channel. And I am posting this video quite sooner than I would like. This is a part 2.5, and I will say that confidently. This is a 2.5. I really did mean to wait at least a week because I wanted to figure this out, but I hit a hard brick wall right away with this 3000 uh, update and install. And that's what I'm about to cover. So uh, let's uh, let's talk about this for a second. Uh, I know I've sent a couple posts out and you guys have all chimed in and it, you've probably seen my frustration, but yeah. So there's a jumper. Where's the jumper at? There's a jumper, where is it at? Yeah, there's a jumper right here and there's a jumper over here, okay? This jumper is closed when the card ships to you. This jumper down here is open. When this DOM discon module, by the way, people are asking what's a discon module, it's basically just a, a fancy uh, you know, solid state hard drive. When this DOM is plugged in here, which is the secondary IDE channel, this is the primary, this jumper is closed. Well, according to the instructions, it says, you know, when you, when you install the Cardi 3000, this will be plugged in. It says, attach your hard drive. So that's what I did. Boot it up. So that's what I did. I got nothing. Huh. In fact, the little LED down here was not off, but it was like dim. So this is when I was like, well, okay, I guess... Maybe I should try something else. And I did some quick Googling and they were like, yeah, you can use the Buddha without the DOM, just like a regular IDE controller. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I looked over the documentation again and the documentation didn't say anything specific about like, you know, using it without the DOM. It just said like, you know, use the DOM to initially set up your Amiga and install Workbench. We've licensed Workbench for you to install. Um, I was like, yeah, well, I don't, I don't really need that. I just want to use your controller card. And that's it. There's nothing in the documentation alerted me to anything else. So I unplugged the DOM. I then booted up the 3000, gave it power. And once again, got nothing. Wow, that was weird. And I Googled some more. While I was Googling, and I'm, I'm not kidding, while I was Googling, I was kind of like playing with this card. I unplugged the card and I had it in my hand. And I noticed written on the card, not in the documentation though, written on the card, it says some stuff. I just thought, you know, and from an initial glance, I just thought, well, this is like attributions to people who helped with the project. No, you know what it says? It says this jumper, and this jumper need to be open for this cable to work. That's what this text says. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Why did the documentation not say that, that, that it shipped with? All right, okay, cool. So I unplugged this jumper, plugged everything back in, booted it up. Nothing, got nothing, zip. I then talked to a bunch of people and they're like, oh, you gotta change HD Toolbox. You gotta go to information on HD Toolbox and change it to Buddha Atapi or Buddha device. So now, I mean, when you, if you go to act, if you actually go to their uh, their website, if you have the anniversary edition, they just use SCSI.device. That's what they use. Regardless, I tried everything everyone said. I'm not dismissing all you folks who helped me out. I, I tried everything you said. I got nothing. I got nothing. Nothing worked. So now you're going, well, 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 what the hell is going on? Well, again, I have this, this master slave jumper on this thing. So I started playing with that. So setting this to slave instead of master did see the LED go bright instead of dingy red so i was like oh cool it's getting more power or something i don't know but again 
you know, and the Amiga booted up and nothing. I had no, no hard drive available. So now I'm getting desperate. I'm like, well, I don't know what else to do. So I do some more Googling and YouTubing and I find a two year old video. And this is the video I linked on Facebook in those posts that a guy is like, listen, I've been going back and forth with individual computers about this booted device. He proceeded to reveal that if you remove the DOM, the disk on module, and do not remove this jumper and provide power to this device, this device explodes. It becomes a hand grenade. It goes nuclear. It's dead. This would explain why, despite everyone's help and everything I've tried to do, it doesn't work. Because whoever engineered this decided, I'm going to put a hand grenade pin right here on an IDE controller. This isn't a power supply, okay? This, this is an IDE controller. I'm going to put a hand grenade pin right here. I'm not going to document it other than on the board in silk screen. And even then it doesn't say it'll blow it up. It just says your cable won't work. But the guy on YouTube who finally figured out how to get this to work said, if you don't pull this jumper after you've removed the Dom, it blows it up. Well, I can confirm that's true because I cannot get this to work. It doesn't work. I've tried everything. So what's left? You blew it up. You killed it. And that's why I made this video. I know I've posted about it and I've talked about it, but I wanted to to show you guys like what's going on. So if you want, what I'm going to do right now while you guys are still watching, if you're still watching, um, so here it is. This is a master. It's, it's plugged into the primary. All the jumpers are off. We're going to turn the 3000 on. There she goes. We got, we got the lights. We're good to go. Here's my, uh, boot disc, my install disc. And immediately you can already tell, look at that. The LED is very, very dim, very dim. It's flickering, which makes you think it might be doing something, but it's very, very dim. It's nowhere near as bright as it should be, even though it's set to master and plugged in to the primary. So we'll go over here, we'll go over to the old workbench screen and get it tickled on. Thank you all for still watching, if you're still watching. I know this video is now eight minutes. And it's nothing productive. There she goes. Look at that. Look at that. 3,000 floppy just ripping through that. Okay, so first off, what you don't see is a DH0 question mark. You don't, yeah, uninitialized. You don't see anything. You should see that. You don't see it. So you already know it's not working. So we go here. And we go to uh, HD Tools. Now, you can click on this, go to Information. <laughs> you can see here, I already set it to boot a device. And if you run it, watch, out, watch what happens. It just blitzes through, boom, nothing. Yeah, it's like hyperspeed. So, I also went in here and tried other names, you know, like Buddha underscore Atapi and whatnot, and Buddha without the H, just in case they spelled it wrong. So, you know, none of those work. So putting it back to the default of SCSI.device, which individual computers themselves says that's what you're supposed to do, it does take a little longer, and it makes you think something might happen. Watch. See? It's slower. You think, oh sh shoot, we're gonna we're gonna do something here, and it's like, no, no, nothing's gonna happen. So, yeah, it's 
it's dead. So let's power it off. Now I'm gonna go down here and yank the jumper on this thing, which will set this IDE drive on the primary IDE controller to slave. And as soon as I turn the Amiga 3000 on, you get a nice bright LED and it'll actually flicker on and off and do all kinds of things. And the result is exactly the same. Nothing changes. So, you know, that's where we are with that. So I just wanted to show you guys in person, for those of you that might be confused, what I'm dealing with and why I'm so pissed off. That's it. You know, I've, I've spent a lot of energy on this and now I'm going to have to find another solution. Maybe SCSI to SD, maybe going on to eBay and just buying an actual real SCSI drive that's been refurbished and rolling the dice with that. I don't know. All right, this is Q. World's, the world? No, not really the world. YouTube's most underproduced, poorly produced Amiga channel. Yeah, that's really what it is. And I'm I am really mad right now. And I've, I've been trying hard not to just say a lot of nasty words. But I really do help really do help you. I really do appreciate everything you guys uh, have posted and, and those of you that have really tried to help me out. It's, it's been great. You you guys have helped me way more than individual computers. I haven't heard... Sh <laughs> I almost did it right there. I haven't heard anything from them. So And I still can't join their forums. I've been trying to join their forums for almost a year and uh, they won't validate my email even though I keep emailing them. So yeah, okay. I'm going to stop filming now before I go completely and totally insane.